Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this time of reflection uh, with your IndyCar ministry family during this time of Advent. And I hope God spoke to you in a special way in preparation for Christmas. I know he put a certain word on my heart that I want to share with you a little later in this video. But first, I want to talk Christmas movies. Most of us have a favorite movie during this season that it just isn't Christmas without watching. And I'd like you to take a minute right now, like this video, and in the comments below, put your favorite Christmas movie so we can see uh, among the IndyCar Ministry family, which is the most popular movie during Christmas. My personal favorite is a movie called Christmas Vacation. And I know some of you, when I said that, cringe because you can't stand it. And my wife used to feel that same way until I explained to her the truly genius of this little gem. And let me talk through it with you right now. You see, to me, this movie, the storyline's funny. It's, it's, it's great, but that's not important. The value of this movie is in the characters. You see, if you can't relate to these characters, then you really don't get the movie. But for me, when I first saw this movie, I related every character in this movie to someone in my life and, and my personal celebration of Christmas and how our celebration of Christmas often turns into a mess. It's kind of like other things in our life where we intend it to be one way, but in reality, it comes out another. Uh, the lead character in Christmas Vacation, this guy has a heart for his family. He has a heart for Christmas. He wants everything to be perfect, but it never turns out that way. He always comes up short. His wife, maybe you can relate to that. Maybe you're the person that supports your spouse in the pursuit of this dream fantasy that can never happen and you get so frustrated and tired, yet day after day you're committed to helping that person. Then there's the, the parents, the in-laws if you will. They, they say they support you and they, and they wanna be with you, but yet when it comes right down to it, They'd rather be asleep on the couch watching a football game or, or whatever. They really don't have a lot of time for you. Maybe you feel that distance from your parents. You feel lonely during this time of year. And then let's talk about Cousin Eddie, right? I mean, everybody's got a Cousin Eddie in, in our life. But the thing I wanted to focus on here was the scene in the movie where Clark decides to give Eddie this great Christmas. He, he decides to bless his family with, with paying for their gifts for Christmas. But cousin Eddie says oh that's great but how about this I want more have you ever felt like God's blessing you in a certain way but it's not the way that you feel you should be blessed so you're looking for more how about the last one we'll go through is is the little little girl I don't have her name Becky Sue or something like that I don't even I don't even remember but she to me represents that person who's never really had a Christmas who's just looking for the light of Christmas, looking for God, looking to encounter the Christmas spirit. And, and will it happen or not? She doesn't have a lot of faith because it's never happened before. Okay, but what I'm getting at, Christmas in our world, it's messy. We've been talking about this all month. That, that Joseph and Mary, Jason talked about it last week, where, where although we look at this as this great event happening in their actual lives, it was a huge burden, a huge disruption, and they were confused. They really didn't know what was going on. It was a mess, just like your and my life is. And the word that God gave me during this Advent reflection was the word Emmanuel. And it comes from Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. It says, The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel which means God with us. And that's what I want to talk about, was the God with us, Emmanuel. God is with us in that mess all the time. He, we don't need to clean up for him to come find us. He will meet us right where we are. And he's so with us that the way he chose to come into the world, that we clean up and try and make better like everything else in our life, was in that manger, which is really just a, a nasty old barn, a feed trough with a bunch of animals. This is the king of the universe, yet he chose to come into our messy world in such a human way and live a human life that he would be with us. He would understand all our struggles in life. 
He would not be distant and far off. He's with us even during this challenging season of 2020. All we have to do is look to him and let him walk with us through life. So I invite you, as we close out this year, if you've never let God into your life, take a minute and, and do that. Just reflect on that, that he's right there with us in our struggle. He is Emmanuel, God with us. We just need to open our hearts and let him come in, let him work in us every day. And as we get focused on going into this new year, let's maybe shift our focus from our mess to God with us in our mess and knowing he will restore us step by step. It just takes one little baby step every day, every second to just give it up to God that he might work in our lives. With that, I just wanna say Merry Christmas from every single one of us here at IndyCar Ministries. We appreciate your support and we hope that God blesses you with an awesome Christmas. Have a good week.